Hey, thanks for pressing play on this video today. I'm glad that you're here. This video is going to answer the common question that I get, which is how do I improve on my range? Now I want to let you know something. Today I'm going to be using a book off of the trumpet player's checklist of books and tools. It's this one right here. Carmine Caruso, Musical Calisthenics for Brass. All right, so how do we improve on our range and why do we want to do that? Let's answer the question why first. Really, it's what attracted us to the trumpet in the first place. We hear trumpet players play high notes and we love it. You got Maynard Ferguson, you got Dizzy Gillespie among others. This is why we play trumpet. We want to do the fun stuff. But how do you do it safely? And how do you do it consistently every time? I'm going to give you some tips right now. And the first one is this. Hear the note you want to play in your mind's ear. I like to, I like to say hear it in your imagination before you actually play it. And one thing that you need to do is get a pitch from a dependable source like the piano. I got a keyboard right here. Get, get a pitch from a dependable source and then reproduce that pitch with your body. I always like to remind people that your body is the real instrument and the trumpet or whatever instrument you play is the amplifier of your body, okay? Your, your instrument doesn't have a soul. Your body does have a soul. So get a dependable pitch, reproduce that pitch with your body by humming or whistling. Okay. Tip number two, your wind support must be present. Terrell Stafford taught me this, that air is free. It's all around us. And all we have to do is open our mouth, take it in. <sighs> then we fill up our lungs. That was, that was free. Air is all around us. But the wind you put out has direction. Wind has direction. Wind is intentional. You, it goes to a specific place that you tell it to go to. And you do that by uh, positioning your tongue in the direction you want to put your wind. So it's, there's some power there. There's, there's intention there. Okay. It's not, it's not lazy. So one thing that you can do to improve on your wind control and your air control, both is to slow down your long tones. So in a previous video right here on the channel, we talked about long tones. And one thing that you can do is uh, decrease your beats per minute. Decrease your beats per minute so that it takes you a longer time to finish. Something else that I recommend is that you just simply exercise. Do your favorite activity that gets your heart rate up. So play basketball, jump rope, go for a jog, fill in the blank. Whatever activity you like to do that gets your heart rate up, do that. It's going to help your trumpet playing. You won't even believe how much. And then the last thing I like to say about, about this is that with your tongue, you tell the wind where to go. Actually, I said that already. That's how important it is. And that's why learning how to play lip slurs with control and, and learning how to play lip bends with control is so important. This is one of the areas that those exercises can improve your trumpet playing. We're talking about improving our range. And here we are again talking about lip bends and lip slurs. Everything's connected. The third and final tip I'm going to give you today is that after you hear it, the note in your mind's, in your mind's ear, in your imagination, after you take in air and put out wind, your armbuster must have the strength, must have the strength right here to control and withstand the wind that you're going to put into the instrument. Uh, this is similar to going to the gym and doing all the reps that you can and then getting tired at the end and therefore you're done. But what happens over time, two, three, four weeks later, you are able to increase those reps or you're able to increase the weight or both. That's what's happening here with your range. And so we're going to use the Caruso book to improve our range today. Okay. Now we're going to use the interval study number two. This is the second exercise in the book. I like it because it's easy. We don't have to think too much. It's just intervals of, of seconds. So you play a G, then you go up to A, and you come back down to G, 
and then you go up a whole step and you do the same exact pattern. So it's not a lot of thinking. All you have to really think about is taking area and putting it out with direction. Now at some point you're going to top out. What do you do then? Rest. Take the horn off your face for about 20 seconds and then come back to it and give it a second attempt. Now if you are unable to get your notes out after a second and third attempt, then you're done. Congratulations, you're done for the day. All right. Try again tomorrow. If you're able to get some more notes out at the top after 20 second rest, then continue on until you can't anymore. And that's how you build your range. Okay, right now I have my metronome turned on 83 beats per minute for the video's sake. I wanna help this along for you. Please play along with me, okay? I'll count you off right here. One, two, three. <gasps> Okay, <laughs> all right, so that's all of the notes in the book. So like I said before, if you're able to go higher, go higher. And if you didn't make it all the way to the end with me, that's okay, you'll get it next time or in a few weeks. Either way, that's fine, just keep at it. If you don't know the rules of Caruso, go to the Lone Tones video and learn all the rules of Caruso. If you don't follow the rules, all of this is for nothing. All right, my neighbors are tired of hearing me play all that loud high trumpet. Thanks for pressing play on this video. I'm glad to have you today. I hope I helped you out. Remember to click the link in the comments and get the trumpet players checklist of books and tools. You'll also receive some free video lessons as an extra bonus. I was gonna keep it a surprise, but I, I just couldn't keep it. I wanted to tell you. So please go ahead, leave your email address there. I look forward to helping you on your journey to become a better trumpet player. Thanks for pressing play on this video and I'll see you next time.